Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload a file using Vue.js and Axios. So presently I have this uh, page here where I'm just creating this uh, sample video converter format uh, system. So when I click there, yeah, I can select a file. I select a file here and open it. So, so far presently it's not showing it's selected the file. Uh, and then we have a button, a go button. So if I go into the code, uh, you can see this here. So uh, this is the form where I have the uh, input here and uh, also for styling I added this input here. So it says uh, select a file here so you can see that that's showing up there. So here at the bottom I said input type submit and value go. So this is the button and I'm running a function here get a video info so this is the uh, using Vue.js. So I have Vue.js included in this page here. Now, if I go to the function, this function is uh, working on it. So we are simply what we are doing here is we are getting the file because uh, that ID that is responsible for the file. So if, we, if you go to the, uh, here, you get input file upload, and we have it here. So I'm just getting the file and then just appending it with the uh, file so we can access it. Now we have here a route that is sending this file in the form of form data. And, uh, and if I go to the web.php, I have this route that I defined here. So send file for conversion. You have send file for conversion in here. And we have this controller with the method of store. If I go to and see the controller, the function store is here. And the only thing I'm doing here is that I'm getting the data using request. And we are passing file uh, as here. We are appending it. And here we are passing it through Axios. So here I'm just saying store as video. And uh, it is going to create a directory. And then it is going to save this file with the name of uh, this name. That's what it is going to do. Now, for using the uh, axios, what I did is I added the uh, CDN here on the top and just call axios straight away here. It's just like using uh, Ajax, so you can call it and use it. So this sends the file using this controller to uh, the function, the store function inside the controller, and then using the request, we are storing this file inside video. Uh, folder. So let's see that how it works. So presently I'm in my storage folder. If I go back here, uh, you can see that uh, it is inside storage, app, public, and then I have this MKB file. So what I do, I simply select this file from the desktop. It's a video file. And I click, uh, I put it here. So when I click go, it creates a video file folder here. If I go inside it, video file.mqv, uh, sorry, mp4. So you can see that video and uh, the file name, it's, which is exactly the same. If you want to change it, you can do that straight away. It is going to work because uh, this functionality is just working like this. So if I hit this again, uh, we should have should be having another folder with video one two three, and uh, this. Now, I have a, a Laravel link here storing upload files, so you can change the directory structure uh, where the store is going to store the file. For that, you need to change the file systems. It is uh, a file inside the config that ever there you can define the path to store. So the store as function going to save your file there. For me, presently, I uh, set it up as storage folder, so it's going there. And I'll, as well as I'm going to add a link for a uh, um, post where step-by-step -step everything is explained about this. So you can, uh, if you face any problem, you can check that as well. So if you like the video, do subscribe and share. Have a nice day. Goodbye.